brothers up here, we ain't got to worry about STDs. We ain't got to worry about syphilis because we follow the law. You see? <laughs> you see? Hey, we don't got to worry about the plagues. You don't have to listen to that commercial. Well, if you don't want to get HIV, you can take this pill. Exactly. Or that pill. But you might get headache, rheumatism, high blood pressure. Arthritis, <laughs> dementia. You might start seeing ghosts. <laughs> to the nation of Israel. So today we at Lamert Park, right? We came last week um, and I wanted to come back because uh, I like Lamert Park. This is where our people are and I think we should start bringing education to our people, right? So the elder, he asked earlier, he said, we're going to bring out the word. We're going to bring out the word right here. And I got an interesting word for you today, right? Um, it's dealing with who we are as a people. Now, contrary to popular belief, right? For the most part, as blacks in America, we think that we belong to Africa. Now, to agree to disagree, we did come from that continent, right? But now my question will be posed to the people, or the so-called black people that are in America, what African tribe did we actually come from? That's the question, right? It's no question that we came from that continent, right? And now, does the Bible give those answers, right? Because contrary to popular belief, right, people think that the Bible's a white man's book, right? You ever heard that, Elder? You ever heard that? You heard that's what they say. It's wrong, huh? Always. Always wrong. The Bible is a is a melanated book, right? Now the white man colonized everything. You, I know, I know you probably familiar. You look educated, elder, right? You're an elder. The white man tried to steal Egypt from us, didn't he? He tried to steal Egypt from us. He tried to say the Egyptians was white, right? So why is it so far fetched for him and for when we come and say, well, the Hebrews also wasn't white? It's the same thing, right? Because where is Egypt? In, in, in relation to where Israel is Pretty close, right? Exactly Same area, right? Huh? The truth is hard it's, Yeah Right, some people Right, we do Now, I can prove Without a shadow of a doubt, historically That so-called blacks in America Have a direct link to the black Hebrews That were in West Africa Right? We can prove that. We have historical evidence that can prove that and verify it. So when we call ourselves African American, okay, right? To agree to disagree, I don't have a problem with the term, right? But what African tribe did we come from or do we come from within Africa? That's the question. You understand? Because there's many different tribes within Africa. You understand? So now this is a conscious community right here, right? This is all about consciousness. Well, if this is about consciousness, we need to have the correct consciousness of being aware. That's what consciousness is, right? So I want to make it known to the people that are in this conscious community what actual people group we actually belong to and who they were actually taken in Africa as slaves because it was a particular people that they were taken. And those people were Hebrew Israelites, and we can prove that historically. You understand? Now, the first thing I want to get is this. Let's get Luke chapter 21. All right? We're going to follow... I want to follow this story real quick because I want to get the Bible because the Bible is the, the, the most viable source of history that we can go to to prove who the ancient races are. And if you don't believe that, somebody do me a favor. I'm from Babylon 2. I wanted to bring out my Hebrewisms of West Africa, but I don't want to tear up my book. So we're going to just be in Timbuktu, but we're going to pull out some more information in Timbuktu. And uh, get the first page, uh, get the first page. Let's read this for the brother elder. Um, I know he, he hanging out right now, so I'm going to uh, show this to him. Um, let's go here. Read that. From Babylon to Timbuktu, chapter 1. And this is all facts. I shall prove conclusively that the black people have the most ancient history of all humans. Do you believe that, Elder? The black people have the most ancient history of all humans? Absolutely. Absolutely. Can't even argue that. The white man will tell you that. White man tell you the first person was black. Watch this, read. The best available source of proof is the history of the Jews, known as the Bible. The, the best available source of proof is the history of the Jews. Why, why do you think that to be, Elder? Because it's the truth. Absolutely. It's the truth. Now, I'm going to give you, you're right. You're absolutely correct. It is the truth. But I'm going to tell you an even more uh, uh, reason for you to even uh, solidify what you said in your statement. Because when you read the story in Genesis with the Garden of Eden, right? 
and you read where those rivers come from, where are those rivers found? In Africa. In Af exactly, in Africa. So the Tigris River, the Euphrates River, all of that is in Africa. Now, for the skeptics that's online, you know, the, the so-called Zionists that have a plan to destroy and keep our history from us, they're going to say, well, no, this is actually the Middle East. There's no such thing as a Middle East. What is a Middle East? Can you show me where a Middle East is? <laughs> There's no, that, that term doesn't even make sense. Like, if I'm giving you directions and I say it's North, West, East, and South, right? I'm going to say, hey, go down till you get to Middle South. Does that make sense? It don't make no sense, right? There's no such thing as a Middle East, but this is what the colonizers did to try to keep our history hidden, to try to separate the biblical land, right, of, uh, and, and this particular biblical land we're talking about is the Garden of Eden, which is the promised land, but Israel messed up, so they got half of it. But originally, the whole Garden of Eden was supposed to be the promised land. When you read where the Garden of Eden is located, the Garden of Eden is located within the borders of Africa, okay? So I just, need to, I just need to put that out there because the white man will try to convince you that that's a separate section within Africa. You understand? Now, that's why this particular scholar, Rudolf R. Windsor, says that the most available source to prove that the blacks' history is the most ancient is the Bible. Because we could go to the Bible, we can see ancient Egypt in the Bible. We can see ancient Babylon in the Bible. You understand? We can see all. The, we can see uh, Su, uh, Su, Sumeria, ancient Sumeria, the Chaldeans. We can read about all of that in the Bible. Kings and queens, absolutely right. So the Bible, and that's a lot of history, right? But I want to get to the particular history of how we got into America, right? So it's gonna be real quick. I want to get a prophecy from the from the mouth of Jesus Christ, real quick. Get a uh, Luke chapter twenty one. Bring it out. Alright, and then I want to uh, read 21 verse, uh, let's see, 20, read, read 19. Luke chapter 21 and verse 19, uh -huh. and your patience persists, ye your souls, and when ye see Jerusalem compassed with arms. So now Christ said, when you see Jerusalem compassed with with armies that mean that means when military might surrounds jerusalem to, to be able to destroy jerusalem right this is what christ said i'm gonna show you something read compass with armies then know that the desolation thereof is near so it says when you see jerusalem compass with armies then know that the desolation is nigh are there right Meaning that these armies are going to destroy the walls of Jerusalem, right? Read. And let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. And then let them which are in Jerusalem flee to the mountains, meaning to exit out of Jerusalem. So that means that the Jews will have to run from being persecuted, right? Read. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. And now let them which be in the midst depart out. Now the question is about this elder. I'm going to show you something real quick, real brief. When you think of a Jewish man, what do you think? Okay, yeah. But today, today, you think Jewish, you think a white man, right? We know better, yeah. We know better. You a wise brother, I know you are. And I am, I'm going to say, but normally when people think Jews are Jewish, they think Jewish. And when they think Jewish, they think Edomite. You understand what I'm saying? That's what they think. They think white man. Right? I should say white man. Right? But I'm going to show you that that's wrong. That's further from the truth. Watch this. Read. And let them, and let them not that are in the countries enter therein. For these are the days of vengeance. So now. Where did that happen and where did that take place? Did I take my phone? You mind from Babylon and Temple too? I wanted him to hold that. But get page, uh, I believe, 84. I'm going to read this historical account. Alright? Get page 84. Do me a favor, brothers. Move this a little up. Hold the top of it. Hold the top of it. No, one brother hold the top of it and one brother move it up. Con, con, there you go. 
There you go. Perfect. All right. So now let's read this real quick. Let's read this. How you doing, Elder? How you doing? Hey, man, I'm doing well, man. Lesson I see y'all got the soldiers. Y'all standing tall. We, we trying to. I hope y'all don't take the fall. Oh, we hope not either. <laughs> because look what they're doing to us. You ever heard of imprisonment? Absolutely. That's when you are confined inside of a wall. Absolutely. But have you ever heard of experiment? Absolutely. That's when we not locked in in this community, but we locked out. Mm. They gating everything that's surrounding us. Mm. They gating the liquor store. They finna gate that parking lot. They gated that parking lot. They gated the fucking park. Excuse my language. Now they did that. But here's the thing. You ever heard of being fenced out? Mm, no, explain. Being fenced out means that you have the freedom to move as you would like, but you don't have the opportunity to move where you would like to go. Mm. Feel That's me? what they have done. So in other words, I build uh, an illusionary road for you to follow. Uh -huh. I can't go in the park until Master say it's cool. Mm. The liquor store, they gating that up. I ain't gonna be able to go over there unless Hoop on Chain say it's cool. Mm. And I can't park my car because Goldstein said no. Mm, so who's cool. He said Goldstein. Who is Goldstein? You know who Goldstein <laughs> is, the perpetrator. That's right. Let's forget his brother hand clap, man. I know who Goldstein is. <laughs> Give me Revelations 2 and 9 real quick. I'm a, the Bible know who Goldstein is, too. <laughs> like this brother right here. Yeah. That was a good word right here, brother. Yeah. Hey, the Bible know who Goldstein is, too. Read. Who is Goldstein? Watch this. Read. We're about to show you. Read. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. I know thy works in the tribulation and poverty, but thy art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. You know them fake Jews, Goldstein, freaking Abba Steen, Rothschilds, we know the Steens, we know the Rothschilds, we know who they is. The, the, the Steens and the Stein. There you go, exactly. And you got Frankenstein, Ooh. a man-made concept. Hey, that's the, I didn't think about it like that. You made some sense right there, huh? Frankenstein, right? A man-made concept. The fake Jews are man-made concept. Watch this, read. And are not, but are the synagogues of Satan. So I know them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. They claim to be Jews, but they are not, but they are the synagogue of Satan. And then here's the thing. They know they're not Jews. Right. In their own encyclopedias, they tell you they're not Jews. Right. You understand what I'm saying? They tell you. That's why they call themselves Jewish or Israelis. Right. But who's the real Jew? The black. Yeah. You are. Right. Right. We are. We're the real Jew. Absolutely. Hey, but here's the thing. Go ahead, King. The thing is, is that they don't mind telling us who they truly are. Right. But the thing is, is that if you're willing to follow them under a false concept, then you're headed for destruction. Because the thing is, is once you know who you are, you should be liberated. Because, you know, we are operating off of a spiritual understanding. They're operating off of a material understanding. And they can't help themselves because that's their nature. Nah, you you you're absolutely absolutely a hundred percent correct. This is why they took who we were from us. Right. What I was explaining to the brother right here, getting ready to explain, is that during the time of the siege of 70 AD, the the Jews fled into Africa. Hold that for a second. Hold that. Get 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 from Babylon Temple two again. I just wanted to show. I just want to show you that the Jews, the original Jews, they where they went when they got persecuted. This was the last time that the actual Jew, the actual Jew community, the uh, authentic Jew community was in Israel. And this was in 70 AD. Watch this, read. It's the book of Babylon. It's like a book of Babylon from Temple 2, page 84. In the year 65 BC, the Roman armies under General Pompey captured Jerusalem. In 70 AD, uh, General Vespasian and his son Titus put an end to the Jewish state. So in 70 AD, the Romans put an end to the Jewish state. Right. Let's see where they went, Bree. With great slaughter. During the period of the military governors of, the, of Palestine, many outrages and atrocities were committed against the residue of the people. During the period from Pompey to Julius, it has been estimated that over one million Jews fled into Africa. They went where? Fled into Africa. They went one million Jews went into Africa. Why didn't they teach us that in school? 
have us going in a direction we shouldn't be going? Why do they, exactly, why do they only say the Jews are from European descent, they come from the, uh, the, 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 the areas of Europe? They never say the Jews went into Africa. Hmm, because that doesn't fit their narrative. You see that? They don't want us to know that. And, and then here's the thing, why would they go to Africa? Because they knew the land. They knew where to go. They, they knew where to hide. Right. Now, here's another question. Why would a why would a large amount of group of white people flee from another group of white people amongst a group of black people? Does that make sense? Yes, sir. You get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Exactly. It doesn't make any sense. Why would I run from somebody to hide if I'm a Caucasian man and I'm they're looking for me in the midst of Lamar Park? Because you're gonna stand out like a sore thumb. Like a sore thumb. But why did they run into Africa? To hide, to flee. They, remember, it says they were fleeing from Roman persecution. So they were trying to hide themselves amongst the people. But that would mean they would have to have the same pigmentation. Oh. Mm. So, in other words, if you're going to hide under someone, unless you're a chameleon to change your color, you're going to stand out like a sore thumb. There you go. So you can't be a, a white rat. Then you're gonna go hide out with black rats. There you go. And not be noticed. Exactly, because the Romans was first searching for them. Right. To put it into them. Right. So, exactly. but, since, but since you and I can identify with the same texture, hair, same color. There you go. If I was a perpetrator and, you know, an infiltrator who working for the government, I could say I'm with the, the program, but I wear the, uh, the Hebrew Israelite uniform. Right. But I'm not really with the group. But I can blend in you because blend I look in. like you. Exactly. exactly. And that's what they did. They fled into Africa. From there, I know I know I don't know to take too much of your time, but no, from, you're good. but from there, um let, let's finish this and I'm gonna show you just real quick another passage and you can look this history up from there. I'm gonna show you where they went and what happened to them. Fleeing from Roman persecution and slavery. The slave markets were full of black Jewish slaves. As the slave markets was full of black Jewish slaves. Why did he? We ain't never in my whole life. I ain't never heard that the Jews was black. Uh, never. Not prior to me understanding the opening. But in the story of Moses, was those supposed to be the uh, Hebrews, the Jews as well? Absolutely. I'm going to show you something. Watch this. Get Acts chapter 13. Acts chapter 13. You can get it. Yeah. Get Acts 13. Acts 13. I'm going to show you something. They don't bring this out. Watch this. Acts chapter 13. And read verse, uh, yeah, you can read that one. Now there were in the church that are in Antioch. So this is the church in Antioch where they first were called Christians in Antioch. So these, these are the first Christians, right? But they were Jews. Watch what it describes them as, read. Certain prophets and teachers. Prophets and teachers, read. As Barnabas and Simeon. Barnabas and Simeon were outstanding prophets and teachers in the Bible, right? Read. That was called nigger. That was called what? That was called nigger. They were called nigger, or if you want to pronounce it, Niger. Right, Anaga. Anaga, yeah. What? What does that mean? Like a black king or It a means God. black. Yeah. But in the Bible, it describes them as black. Oh, they don't believe me? Oh, watch this. Now, yeah, let's read it. I'm going to read it one more time for you. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out a biblical lexicon to show you the meaning of the word so no one online or nobody listening to this can say i'm just fitting that in there or inserting that in there watch this you read it one more time acts chapter 13 verse 1 now there were in the church of of, of antioch certain prophets and teachers as barnabas and simeon that was called nigger and loose that was called nigger now i'm pulling up acts right now and look just to show you so you know this is the Bible app, right? This is the Bible app, the Bible Concordance app. Just so you can know, it's a biblical reference. Now, when I look up that word uh, Niger, right, which the, the apostles were described as, just for the skeptics out there, because we know what the word means already. But for the skeptics, I'm going to look at the concordance, the interlinear concordance, and I'm going to go to the word Niger or nigger, and I'm gonna let you hear what it says. Let me see. Fuck it. Really? G3526. Nigger. Nigger. Hear that? 
I'm gonna play it one more time. I don't know if y'all heard that. Let me, let me turn my phone up a little bit. This is how they this is how they pronunciate it. definition of it it mean it says niger or nigger equals black right. strong's definition of latin origin black nigger or niger a christian nigger niger so who was the first christians the nigger. niggers <laughs> The Niger. The Niger. The Niger or the Niger. Right. Come on, man. Why they never brought that out in, in, in church? Why they never brought it out in school? Exactly. That's an even better question. Because that's just like when I heard it the first time, Naga, I couldn't think of like, because they got a tribe called Naga too, right? Right. And they got Niagara Falls. They got Nagasaki. You can see that word throughout all it's lands that Naga or nigger. Everyone uh, pronunciated exactly. Right. You you got niggas, you got niger, you got uh nigger, however you want to pronounce it. Right. What they did was they just added an extra G. Right, right. Hey, but here's I just have a question. Yes, sir. Because you because you brothers are alike, right? Uh -huh. And the thing is is that sometimes no, not sometimes, we write we have scripture which give us the rules and the basic fundamentals that we should follow to keep ourselves right. And have a natural mind, but at the same time, in scripture, is telling you about things that are taking place and things that are going to take place. And that's just like even if these plagues or a pandemic or whatever you want to name it is taking place, and if it's Europeans, higher powers that we don't have really a true or uh, concrete understanding of, it's writing this. They don't realize that they're writing their own demise. Because even the prophet Moses, right? He's a blessing be upon him, had said when he was battling with the Pharaoh, right? These plagues, he said, set my people free, right? But they had these different plagues. Do you think that we are into another understanding of that? Another oh. re reoccurring situation, the same? Why? Because of what's going on? Yeah. It's like, they call it pandemic, but you can call it a plague, pandemic, whatever you want to call it. Uh, nah, you're right. Uh, get a uh, Revelation 13. I mean 18. It's a lot. You're absolutely right. And I'm going um, to read something for you. Revelation, I think it's 18. Receive not of her plagues. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think it's 18. Yeah. Is it 4? Yeah, 4. It's 4. Alright, start at verse start at verse 1 though. Go ahead. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 1. And after these things I saw another angel come down. So right now, you know, it's the same thing like when the the, the deaf angel passed over Egypt. Uh -huh. Just like you said, you're a wise brother, man. It's an honor to speak to you. So you, the deaf angel passed over Egypt. Now in Revelation, it says that the angel came, right? Read. Come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was light. Having great po ha having great power, right? Read. It's light with his, with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great is fallen. Babylon the Great has fallen is fallen because this last nation that's prophesied to rule is compared to every other great nation before it and even greater in terms of its power. Right? So Babylon, why is it called Babylon? Because Babylon had a lot of different paganist gods that Babylon worshipped, the same within this place, right? It's also called spiritual Egypt, which Egypt is known synonymous for bondage of the Israelites at the time. You just like you just brought out, but watch watch what it says, read. It's become the habitation of devils. It has become a habitation of devils. It's nothing but evil in this land. Evil being done to our people. Evil being promoted in our people. Homosexuality being promoted everywhere. Just a whole bunch of evil, right? Read. Right. The whole of every foul spirit in a cage. In, in a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Now notice how it says cage in a uh, every cage of unclean and hateful bird. What did you just break down to me earlier? We're in a trap. 
Cage. What are we trapped in with? Uncleanness, wickedness, nastiness, filthiness, sexual perversions. Wow. All of that. We trapped in this land with all of the filthiness, right? Yeah. Watch this, Rick. Pork, eating things unclean. Our food is unclean. Thinking unclean. Thinking unclean. GMO. Everything's unclean. Watch this. And into the pandemic point, Reed. For all nations have drunk the wine of her breath of her fornication. And what nation has not taken part of the glorious freedoms that America supplies our demonocracy, our democracy, right? Watch this, watch this. Well, hold this one second. I'm going to read this for you, right? Read. The kings of the earth have committed fornication with earth. And the merchants of the earth are wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I have heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her. My people it's come out we got to come out of her this is what we attempted to do right now we got to come out meaning got to wake our brothers and sisters up come out of the evil and wickedness right read that ye be not partakers of her sins that ye receive not of her plagues that we receive not of her plagues wow. see that so the coronavirus there's going to be more plagues worse than the corona it's going to come upon this place i believe that this is only the beginning because if the story be true like you said History and theology or philosophy, whatever you want to call it, it always let us know that it's going to hit the fan. And if it hit others before, and then what we're going through right now, the fan is on, man. It's on. It's on, brother. Yeah. It says we got to get out here so we don't receive none of her plagues. Right. So this is what we're trying to tell our people. We got to come back. Align ourselves with who we are because like you said knowing who you are is power right. And once we know who we are we can get back to our original culture right. Because I get what our people are trying to do in claiming Africa But it's still a form of confusion because where in Africa do we come from? Right. Like we can't say pan-African, right? I, I debate with one of my friends all the right. time he say I'm a pan-African Meaning right. I'm, I'm, I identify with any African group but that's still not identifying where you come from because there's many different African groups that right. that don't align with each other. Right, right. So in, in terms of what, what, what we're saying is that we're still confused. Right. You understand? Right. So what we're trying to do as Israelites is narrow that search down and prove to you what nation that was in Africa we come from and that's the Israelites. Right. We right. can prove that. We can prove right. it historically. And that's what we're doing. Then once we do that, give me Joshua 1 and 8, one of my favorite scriptures. Then we can come back to the scriptures and we can start keeping the commandments of God. This is why we have fringes on our shirts. We have fringes on our shirts because this is what our ancestors used to dress. This is how right. our ancestors used to dress. So right. you know how brothers wear dashikis and all right, of that? Right. To honor their ancestors that they assume is their ancestors? Right. Well, we wear our fringes because this is what our ancestors wore. Right. That's right. We keep the Sabbath, right? right? Yeah. Not, not for no religious purposes, like America tried to do to hide our history. Yeah. He turned our history into a religion. Right. But we keep the Sabbath because our ancestors kept the Sabbath. Right, right. This is the mind of a Hebrew Israelite. When we right. see the Bible, we don't see religion. Like you have been programmed, it's not you personally, but how our people have been programmed to see religion and associate Bible with religion. The Bible's been here before religion. Right. Like we just read. We just read in, in Genesis, and we just read in this, uh, this is from Babylon oh. and Timbuktu. Oh, the Bible was here before religion. Yes, uh. yes. How do you, how do you, how do, how do, how, do, how else do you explain how the Bible understands historical context of ancient Egypt? Uh, the Bible talks about ancient Egypt. So, if the Bible was here before religion, as a Hebrew is in life, right? Okay. You, once you read the prescription, the scripture, as an individual, you already know your are yes. You don't need to come really to a church to hear what your duties are. Only time we I would say I'm gonna go a step further and say stay out of the church. Yeah. The church has been lying to us for years. <laughs> I would say I would say run out of the church. Yeah. Don't even go. Yeah. You understand? Leave. We yeah. we all left the church. Why? Because the church is not teaching the truth. Wow. They're lying to us. But like I said earlier, the Bible, right? Now let's 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 go ahead and dispel this this myth. Right, or this assumption, you know, I've heard this many times before, where people that think they're enlightened, they'll tell you the Bible was written by Romans. Right. Nowhere in history can you prove that, first off. Second off, 
the word Bible just comes from the Greek word biblios, which just, just means collections of books. So at first, before it was called a Bible, all it was was collection of scrolls. That's all it was. That was before King James. That was before the uh, the 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 the, um, the, uh, the Renaissance. That was before anything in Rome. The Bible goes back to ancient. Let me show you. Get a uh, get uh, Genesis real quick. Get Genesis and ten on Genesis chapter ten. Let me show you something. Uh, ten, I think. Uh, Actually, I want um, Actually, not 10 I want Genesis Let's read verse um, 11 uh, ch Chapter 11, verse 1 Let me show you something Read Genesis chapter 11, verse 1 and The whole earth was of one language So now this is in ancient times right. It says at one time the earth was in one language Read And of one speech And it came to pass as they sojourned from the east, that they found a plain of the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. Shinar, the land and the plain of Shinar, that is what we will consider the regions of so-called modern day Iraq, Iran, yeah. that whole area, those whole regions, uh, right, which I was telling you about, where is ancient Babylon is located, right, right? where also the Fertile Crescent is located, yeah. in that whole region. See, the Bible's giving you historical context of where yeah. life started. It says in that whole region, right, if you look up Fertile Crescent, you're going to see those same regions of where the Euphrates is, where the yeah. Tigris River is. Yeah. You're going to see that. It's the Fertile Crescent. It's one of the most fertile places on earth, which is found in Africa. It right. is to, to, to this day. Yeah. To this day. Well, it's desolate. It's desolate now because the scripture says that the land will be desolate once the people leave out of it. Oh. Once the chosen nation of Israel leaves out of the land, the land will be desolate. Mm -hmm. So now it's desolate in a sense of because that land is spiritually attached to a certain people. Why do you think the white man's fighting for it? Why do you think what what's the war right now all centered around? That whole land. America don't ally with China because China allies with the Arabs and the Arabs don't ally with the Jews, but America allies with the Jews and they all fighting for what? That land. That's what the fight is about. It's about this land in the Bible that the Bible talks about. They not they not fighting for China. They not fighting for here. They fight for that land. So it's a spiritual power there? Yes, it's a spiritual power that's connected to its people. Oh, that's right. You understand? That's why it says that the land will be desolate. That's why when we read in uh, Luke chapter 21, it says that the desolation, the abomination of desolation is nigh. Because once the people exit, the spiritual connection is broken and the land is desolate. So it's like an engine. If it's missing some spark plugs, it's not going to spark. Exactly. Yeah. And the people are the spark plugs to that land. That's right. You understand? That's the whole point of why they don't want you to know who you are. So the land, this is why land is important. Because we're a spiritual people by nature. Black people are spiritual people by nature. We, we, we naturally, black people just believe in a higher power. It's just who we are. Right. We're just a spiritual type of people. We also have a spiritual land. Right. So when we're connected to our land, it's like that spark plug. Boom, the land is alive now. Right. But when that spiritual connection is served, served, severed, now we're desolate mentally, and our land is a physical representation of our minds being So desolate. that's the reason why they keep us dumbed down through the food, education, exactly. television, radio. Exactly. Because if, if, if something snapped in my synapses, in my brain, I might wake up. There you go. Well, you know what Willie Lynch said? If you ever read the Willie Lynch letters, he said that he created a system to keep blacks in slavery for almost... 300 to 400 years. But that's past due already. It, Long time. It, but this is the interesting thing about what Willie Lynch said. He said that this will work for about 400 years unless a spiritual phenomenon happens and they start to change. He said that. Yes. Yes. He said that. So he knew. Fact. I wish I had my Willie Lynch letter. <laughs> Pull up the pull up the Willie Lynch real quick if you can. If we can find that so we can read. So it. he knew it was it's a spiritual thing. Yes. Willie Lynch knew. I have the papers at home. Hey, that's I have it. And he, he literally said that. You, you got it? I can pull it up on my phone. I, I wish didn't know I had that. my papers. I didn't even know that. Yeah, Khan. He literally said that. Um, I wanna find this for you because I gotta find it for you. Even if it take a little time, because I like to I like to show people. 
Because I like learning new things, right? Yeah. Uh, let me see. PDF, I think I found it. It's right here. Uh, is this it? Yeah. Uh, I think it's down. I got it. Let's make a slave. Uh, Negro. Just lock it. I wish I had my papers, but I don't have my papers. But I'm going to do Okay, hold on. Legal marriage. Control languages. Um, damn. Lob, you know where you know where it is? It said Yeah, we gotta we gotta find this for the brother. I wish I had the I actually printed it out and I have it in my papers, but I don't have it on me right now. But I really, really, really wanna read this for the brother right now. Even if I gotta this certain manipulation phenomena, crossbreeding, not that one. Uh, hold on, let me, maybe, maybe I can do this. Maybe I can Google that particular passage. Hold on, maybe I can, maybe I can. I'll try this last thing. Hold on. study the Kabbalah? The Kabbalah? The Kabbalah? Yeah. Uh, no. I'm going I'm to tell you why, too. That's you know what? I can't... You know what, brother? I can't... I, I don't want to waste time. It, I wish I could find it. Live, if you find it, just let me know. But it literally says that if, if, if implemented correctly, the slaves will be in slavery for... our mental slavery for about three to four hundred years unless a spiritual phenomenon occurs and it begins to change. So by him saying that... Way back at that time, yes, and they had introduced us to uh, Christianity under their concept. Their right? Christianity, yeah. Right. They already know the power of something greater than what we even realize a lot of. Right. Well, they knew we were Israelites because, look, even the songs we were singing, like, Kumbaya, my yeah. Lord, Kumbaya, yeah. Kumbaya, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yah is the name of Yahweh, right. Yahweh, our God, Kumbaya. Kumbaya means come by God oh, okay. in Hebrew. Kumbaya, come by God. Come hear us here. Come by us because we're in slavery. Right. You understand what I'm saying? They knew we was. We knew it. We, we knew we were Israelites back in the 1600s. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is this is known history. You can look up Frank Cherry. You can look up uh, Arthur uh, uh, Wentworth Matthews. Yeah. These were sl brothers. That knew we were Israelites wow. during that time. You understand? So they knew who they knew who we were. You understand? Wow. That's why do you think that they kept us from reading the Bible? Wow. Wow. They kept us from reading, but specifically, they kept us from reading the Bible. But see, a lot of people read the Bible, but guess what? They have reading uh, deficiency when it comes to comprehension. No, you're absolutely right. Yeah, they yeah. don't know. If they don't comprehend. It's like they read something, but they really didn't comprehend what they read. I'll show you this. Get Daniel real quick. I want to show him this. What he said is absolutely right. Get the book of Daniel, chapter 10. What, what you said. Now, I'm going to show you that that's a, actually a prophecy. The reason why they can't comprehend what it's saying, and it's so many different ideologies, right. is because that's a prophecy because the Lord said he was going to do something with the Bible. Uh, 10 and, um, yeah, yeah. Oh, 12 and 4. You got it? If you got it, read, read that. It's the book of Daniel, chapter 12 and verse 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. It says, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. So what does that mean? The words are shut up. So when some people read it, they can't grasp it. The Bible said that. That's why when people be like, oh, so many people reading that book and getting different things. Well, you're not, you're not disproving the Bible because the Bible said that would happen. You know, the Bible said that they will read it and the words are going to be shut up. Only a select few will understand it. And the word is, the truth will make you free. <laughs> yes. The truth. the truth shall make you free. Absolutely. 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 I, I wish I could find that Willie List passions for you. But if you here next Saturday, I'm, I don't know. 
Yeah, I, 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 cause I love, I love proving things, but for the sake of time, I don't want to have you here for a minute. I mean, even if you're just walking around and I'm off the mic and I just catch you and yeah, I find it for you, I shoot it to I you. I just want to give y'all one thought, then I'm gone. Go ahead, King. And the thing is, is that you know we have a lot of consolidarity in our community because a lot of people can, like myself, coming to you. Uh, I've seen you before, but we really don't know one another. But we can speak on the things that affect us. Uh, illegitimately, right? However, with the consolidarity, with the brick on the wall, there's no cohesiveness. That's the reason why there's open portals to enter the wall to distort it. You feel what I mean? And we don't have a strong wall. And the thing is, is that we're going to have to come together as a people somehow, some way, because there's a lot of things that take taking place that me, myself, I'm not the most educated person in the world. I didn't even go to, uh, I didn't even finish high school, but I operate off of common sense. And my common sense says that... And real quick, Yoda, I don't mean to cut you off, but if you don't, you, you're not defined by their education. Let me just say that. You're not defined by their education. Who, who said, who said that a, 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 a two-year-old got to be in first grade, a five-year-old got to be in sixth grade? But you limited my child's knowledge. My, my four-year-old can do time tables division at four if she wants to. You can't stop what you're so... We're not defined by their education to further hold us back. Because then I'm going to prove that to you real quick with this last statement. I'm going to yield it back to you. Because in their schools, they advance the learning of their children. But in our schools, they hold back the learning of our children. So you're not you're not defined by the knowledge that they tell you. you, you so you you're the most educated brother I know. Why? Because you will uh, enlighten brother your knowledge of what you speak and the spirit that's within you. That's the education. Their knowledge is foolish. You understand? We don't care about their schools. We don't care about their knowledge that they teach in their schools. It's all a lie. But go ahead, my brother. I just want to tell you. Yeah, but the thing is that we're going to have to bring some cohesiveness into the consolidation on the wall that we have built because we know what the problem is but we need to find out the solution and get rid of all infiltrators you know Absolutely. and perpetrators because that's the only way we always been brought down Infiltration. Infiltration. Yeah. That's what they did to the Black Panthers. They, that's what they did to Malcolm X. That's what, all our leaders, they killed them and infiltrated. You know, so I agree with you. And, and another thing we need, just to go along with what you said, and I'll, I'll leave you with this, is uh, Joshua 1 and 8, my favorite scripture. I always bring it out. Can we get that? Uh, get that for me, y'all. We need a law. We need a law. Because we can't be a nation of people without a law to govern us. Right now, we're a lawless people. You just look out here. Just look at us. We lawless. We don't have no law. I mean, the law of this land. Right. But I'm talking about a law as far as our communities. The law is important. Yeah. Because when I was in a small model, when I was incarcerated, the Hispanics, right, they had a law. They had a code, right? And it was certain things that you could do. And they meant that. That was punishable by yeah. death and need be. For real. And guess what? With that law, they had structure. And it was hard for us to defeat them because of the structure. But brothers just went around, I do what I want to do. I ain't got to mind nobody. I ain't got to listen to nobody. But then when the message put hands on you, now you run to me for help. Exactly. And, and that's a, and, and I'm gonna be honest with you. That whole war between the blacks and Mexicans, that's a whole nother story. No, but I'm just using that as, as an example. Of, yeah, of, of law. Cause that's the yeah. The importance of law. The, yeah, I know okay, what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, cause, like, cause they got us yeah, fighting yeah, against each other, good, and we ain't even that, them are brothers. Right. And I can prove that to you. Right. But you're right though in terms of law. You're absolutely right, and I agree with you. And that's what right. this said. The Bible agrees with you. Watch, watch what it says. It's the book of Joshua, chapter one and verse eight. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. See, this is not a book of religion. This is a book of laws. That's why I said this book was before religion. It's something that is a way of life. Exactly. Not something that you just do for a pastime. Exactly. And that's where we go. Go ahead. Let's read it one more time for the other. Book of Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Exactly. That right there, uh -huh. that's the heart, the brain, and the mind of the whole thing. Get that brother a clap. He absolutely right. He absolutely right. Give me Joe. Give me Joe. Look at Joe. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, 
I gotta agree with you, Elder. I know you gotta go, but I gotta pull this last one out for you, man. Give me the book of Joe real quick. He's absolutely right. The whole duty of man. I gotta get that for my elder. Meditate day and night. Day and night. You gotta meditate day and night. Yeah. Because, and then I'm gonna show you how we will have good success. Because guess what? These brothers up here, we ain't gotta worry about STDs. Right. We ain't gotta worry about Cause syphilis. Because we followed the law. There you go. Whoa, you see? <laughs> you see? You don't hey, need, we don't gotta worry about the plans. Wait a minute. You don't Go have ahead. to listen to that commercial. Well, if you don't want to get HIV, you can take this pill. Exactly. Or, or that pill. Ex but you might get headache, rheumatism, oh. high blood pressure, <laughs> arthritis, <laughs> dementia. You might start seeing ghosts. <laughs> For real. We, we don't have to give you give that a joke. We don't have to worry about that. Why? Because the, the whole duty of man. Yeah. Oh, is it Ecclesiastes or Job? Okay. Oh, Ecclesiastes. I said Job. You're right. Ecclesiastes. Lock it. Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Oh, this, this is the one I wanted. Read. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. So watch this, Elder, before I let you go. When all, excuse my language, shit hit the fan, even worse, you know who's going to be safe? We are. We're not going to worry about all of the plagues and diseases because we don't do the things this world does to cause that. Because we listen to the law. So it was true. When the plague hit uh, Egypt, Egypt, the shit blew right over us. Right over us. And you're going to see that again today because guess what? We keep the law. And that's what it means by come out of her, my people. We're coming out of the mindset of America. Because the mindset of America tells you you can sleep with however many women you want. And that woman can sleep with however many men she wants. And that creates diseases. See, because we are because we under that Alex of Crowley uh, understanding. Do it right? thy will. Do it thy will. Uh, of course we got a will right. that's uh, free to make choices. But with that free will to make choice, I hope you choose right. Choose life. Right. There you go. But and see, but they make it, they have devalued us. They make it seem Pookie just got a wholesome 23 inch or 50 cents in his chest, 23 inch weight. Hey, Pookie, you know you can snap your finger. Oh, I can. Yep. And they say, it's cool. I could be an idiot. It's all right. Right. They have devalued us, man. Absolutely. I agree. So once we come back to the law, we don't have to worry about the stuff that's about to happen in this place. Why? Because we're protected. Because we follow laws. Guess what? We ain't got to worry about a, a, a mad... A, we don't got to worry about an SUV driving into hundreds of people for the Christmas celebration. Right. You know why? Because we ain't going to be at the Christmas celebration. Right. <laughs> you understand right. what I'm saying? Because that's paganism. That's paganism. Christmas right. is paganism. So guess what? We're not going to be there. So guess what? My daughter ain't got to look over her right. shoulder to, for an SUV to hit her because she's celebrating Christmas. Right. We safe from that. Because I, I, I'm going to leave with this dog. Go ahead, Ken. I got to go. Yeah, Ken, but, go but I, I truly believe that when one is following the most high and fulfilling purpose and you're righteous and true to that deed, you already have a shield. Right. That brother hand clap, man. Yeah. Get it. Yeah. Yeah. It was beautiful talking to the elder. Hey, thanks for listening, man. Man, come on, brother. My brother, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man, thank you for listening. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll see you before. I'll see you again. All right. I'm here all the time, man. Yes, can you know? Elder right, working, yeah. trying to get together, making sure we do it better. Free us from this wider pressure. My people catching cases. Double life he facing. Scattered all across the world. I see familiar faces. Say we all.